This tutorial will demonstrate how to download and install the Qt PDF Writer. The Qt PDF Writer is a free program that allows you to create a PDF file from basically any application that you have on your computer. There is a pro version that does cost money, uh, but the free version is out there and available. So if you would go to www.qtpdf.com, you'll be taken to this website. Now there are some uh, other sites out there with adware and kind of free programs that are similar to this, but not the exact thing. And so be sure that you get to the qpdf.com website. From there, if you go down and you click on free download, that will begin the download process to your computer. Depending on the type of uh, browser you're using, uh, it will either go and ask you to save as, or it might automatically just save to your download. So for example, I'm using Firefox, and it gives me the option to save the file. If you're using something like Chrome, it may automatically download and save to your downloads folder. In this case, I'm going to save the file. I choose where I want to save the file to, and in this case I'd like to save the file on my desktop. And then on the desktop I can see that it takes and installs the uh, executable file, the cutewriter.exe file. And then in that case I double click the executable file. Uh, you'll likely get a security warning asking that to be sure that you want to run this. In this case it's a trusted source, so we're going to go ahead and run and again I get an acknowledgement to make sure I want to go ahead and run this executable file so click yes and then the cute PDF wizard will show up in this case I work my steps through the wizard so go to next accept the agreement now you may or may not get a few ads in between that step from accepting the agreement to the ready to install. Uh, there have been multiple times that I've installed it and it's uh, one of the, I've received an advertisement to install uh, the ask toolbar, the ASK toolbar. Uh, in that case, you would just uncheck that option to install that and, and go to next. Uh, the other option that there was another advertisement I saw at one point that came up and you simply had to hit the decline button uh, in order to decline those. You really don't need and really don't want those other add-ons to go along with it. That's one of the ways that this company is able to offer this program for free is they put those advertisements and the additional things on there. Uh, so be sure that you're cautious of those after you accept that agreement. Uh, as you go through the next screens, if it asks you to install additional things, go ahead and just uncheck those and uh, be sure to decline those as you move forward and then you'll finally get to the last step to ready to install so simply click install here and it'll begin the installation process now depending on your operating system uh, you will likely get a, an option here to uh, need to install the converter uh, QPDF writer must be used with this converter uh, would you like to go ahead and install it now go ahead and yes you would um, you need this uh, for newer operating systems it's just part of the package that you need to do as well uh, this is not an advertisement this is actually part of the program that you will need so when you get this dialog box up for the converter go ahead and hit yes and it'll begin downloading uh, the converter as well. It may take it a few seconds to go through. Uh, the converter is a little bit bigger file, um, and so it'll go through and download that as well and begin installing it. You'll see on your computer you may get kind of a, a black screen that shows up and, uh, and goes through and installs it, which is fine. And then once it's gone through, it'll take you to the README file that basically is demonstrating that you have successfully installed it. Now, again, uh, this is kind of part of their advertisement, their way to make some money is to want you to install some additional things here. Uh, it is a free cute PDF editor. I really haven't worked with that, and that's not something that you need at this point in time. And there's other ones that you can put in. Don't worry about that. This screen is saying that you have successfully installed the cute PDF writer, and you sure are good to go. So you can simply close out of that window and now once the cute PDF writer is installed from any application Word PowerPoint um, even paint or even a web browser you can take and create a PDF file so in this case uh, instead of doing a save as what you're doing is actually printing the PDF so you're gonna go to print uh, so in this case with Firefox if I go to print or control P you'll see the print dialog box comes up 
And now once I've installed the Qt PDF Writer, you will see here that uh, in my options of various printers that I have, I have a Qt PDF option. So I choose that option and hit OK. And instead of printing uh, to an actual printer, it's going to print it as a PDF file. But as you know, with any file, you're going to have to save the file name, and so it's going to bring a dialog box up to do that. Now, I've noticed on uh, in the, when I'm using Firefox that I sometimes have to click on the web page in order for this dialog box to come up. And so in this case, I will just name this. Uh, it gives me the option to give it a name, so I'm going to call this Test PDF. I'm putting it on my desktop here, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then on my desktop, will show up that PDF file. It looks something like this. And so when I come back and open that PDF file, it's now going to open up. It's basically saved that web page as a PDF. Uh, now I have that locked information on my computer. Uh, so it's a great way if you're on a website and you find something that you'd really like, uh, some information that you want to keep track of, it's a great way to do that. Here you can see an example of this PDF file that was created um, by basically printing that web page as a PDF file. Now on some web pages the layout might really get messed up uh, as it prints it to a PDF and so that's just part of, of converting a web page to a PDF file is sometimes it gets reorganized in funny ways uh, but the content should be in there in one way or another. So this is an example of how to install the Qt PDF Writer and to go ahead and save a web page or any other application you might have as a PDF. Again, you simply go to File, Print, Choose. Uh, so here I could do it as well. I'll go ahead here, do it again. You simply go to File, Print, whatever application you're in. You choose the Qt PDF Writer, hit OK, and then you save that file name. And now you have a PDF file on your computer.